Bowman here from BW1.com and I give you the first part of my series of how to hack your HTC Touch Pro by Verizon Wireless. So let's get started with the first part which is how to unlock your phone. The reason you need to unlock your phone, you need to unlock it so that you're able to put the custom ROM and customized software on the device so you need to unlock it first. And what you'll need to do is you actually need to go and download the unlocker files. A great place to find these files is from is this website called ppcgeeks.com. It has a great website and a great forum to, that you can find um, software like this and on any other type of software that you're looking for, any type of help that you're looking for. It has a great forum, has a great community of users that are willing to help you out if you have questions. So you want to make sure you go to ppcgeeks.com and you definitely want to sign up to the forum and download the software. What you're going to be downloading is the H Verizon HSPL package. When you download that package, you're going to want to take one file out of that. There's going to be three of them in there, but you want to take one um, particular file out of it, which is the Raphael CDMA VZW HSPL underscore 305 zip file. And when you extract that onto your desktop, you want to open it up and you want to click executable right here. Yes. All right, now bring up to the ROM update utility. Now, what you want to make sure before you do anything else, you want to make sure you back up all your information. If you're not sure how to back up your information, see uh, my uh, my um, tutorial on um, pin backup. It's on my um, YouTube page, also on the website bw1.com. You want to check that out there. I'm going to show you want to synchronize all your data and stuff because you could potentially lose all of it when doing this. So you want to make sure you sync synchronize everything and have all your data backed up before beginning. So once you've done that, you're going to bring up the uh, ROM update utility here and. Um, it's going to give you a, a ca caution, it's going to delete all the information. You want to make sure you click the checkbox uh, that you understand and you've read everything on the screen. Click next and you want to make sure four things are to connect uh, connect uh, to, to, to the computer via USB. Make sure you have an active sync connection from Windows XP or a Windows mobile device connection if you're using Windows Vista. Disable the Hibernate. Make sure the main battery has a charge greater than 50%. You just want to click that checkbox. You want to make sure all those uh, are done. When you click next, it's going to verify that same information. Once it verifies it, it's going to bring up this screen here. You just want to click update. And you want to make sure it says 2 image version 0.35 HSPL. You want to click next. And once you've clicked next, the process will begin. Okay, now once you get the confirmation that it says 100%, you're going to see congratulations, your ROM update is now complete and PDA is ready for use. Now you've unlocked it, now it's ready to put a custom ROM on it. So the next video that you're going to see is going to show you how to put a custom ROM in, how to use what they call a kitchen to cook your own ROM is, is what they use in um, for the terminology. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video, so stay tuned for that. But until then, this is Bowman for BW1.com reminding you to live your tech world in high definition.